Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, it's still Tuesday, May the 11th, and it's 4.12, 4.13 p.m. I have some recalls to bring to you that I've been hanging on to because some of these are really important. There's four of them. Okay, let's start with number one. It's put out by the Scioto Valley Guardian. A Jackson-based pasta company, subject of the USDA recall. Jackson where? Mississippi, perhaps? Let's see if it says. No. Jackson, Ohio. Well, maybe if we lived in Ohio, we would know that. Anyway. Bellicio Foods Incorporated, a Jackson, Ohio establishment, is recalling approximately 3,927 pounds of not ready to eat or NRTE spaghetti with meat sauce product due to misbranding and an undeclared allergen. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, before I go on, I, I just want to say, if you're not allergic to whatever they say, just keep it. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service, or the FSIS, announced today. The product contains soy, a known allergen, which is not declared on the product label. Uh-oh. Trying to get away with adding soy to your hamburger, are you? Not good. The frozen, not ready to eat spaghetti with meat sauce items were produ produced April 22nd, 2021. The following products are subject to recall. Unless you're not allergic to soy and you don't mind eating a little bit of it. An 8.5 ounce paperboard tray with lid packages like a Michelini. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen to this. I said that. I no sooner said that when I looked down and it said, with lid packages containing Michelina, Michelina's spaghetti with meat sauce. See, I used to buy that all the time. They were like a dollar. You just get a small little portion maybe that deep for a buck you know and you had a piece of bread and you got a meal anyway with lot code J 1112 N as in Nancy and 8 comma best by the 22nd of April 2022 and the UPC code of 7 space 17. Ooh, there's that 717-854 space 10503. <gasps> Take away the zeros. You got 153. 153 fish caught after Jesus rose from the dead. That number is significant. Oh, my goodness, that just gets me excited. <laughs> okay, and it says 10503.9. Okay, that's end quote is what that is. There, there were quotes around that number, 717854. Well, there was a space, and then a space, 10503, space, 9, on the bottom label. The product labels can be viewed here. 
The product subject to recall bear establishment number, quote, EST period 18297, unquote. Inside the USDA mark of inspection, these items were shipped to retail locations nationwide. Yeah, Michelinis is, I say Michelinis, apparently it's Michelinas pretty popular around here. Uh, anyway, then you can go on to read the rest of this. I'm going to move on over here to this is really weird. You got to see this. This is actually a YouTube video. It's titled Tires Can Explode While Being Refilled If Not Maintained. You got to watch it. I can't read it to you. It's on Inside Edition. You know, they had a television show, Inside Edition. Now they have their own YouTube channel. It's probably been here forever. I didn't know. Inside Edition investigates. And it's showing these people putting air in their tires and blowing it. The tire blows out and it knocks them back. I don't think they said anybody died, but some people were seriously hurt. So I'll put that link in the description box. All right, let's move on down the line. This one is found in the New York Post. How many love chocolate shell topping? Well, listen up. Hershey's recalls chocolate shell topping oh my goodness i almost let myself buy some of this recently i would have had to have just thrown it in the trash i guess because it came out may 6th 2021 by jesse o'neill okay it's the hershey's shell I have to look in real close. Special dark? I can't tell. Let me read this down here. Hershey's shell topping. You know what that is. You sprinkle, you, you drizzle it, I guess is how you'd say it, on your ice cream and the coldness of the ice cream makes it go hard like not so hard, you can't get your spoon through it, but it's, kids love it, I like it. Hershey's is recalling its chocolate shell topping after learning that some 1,700 bottles were mistakenly filled with an almond-based ingredient, the FDA said Wednesday. Hmm, I wouldn't have minded that. The voluntary recall was made to protect people with allergies or severe sensitivities to almonds, according to the release. Again, I say, if you can eat almonds, just hang on to it. You might enjoy it. The recall applied to the 7.25 ounce bottle with UPC parentheses three four six zero 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 close parentheses the feds said the feds they got the feds in on it fda Fe federal that's food isn't that the food and drug administration Is that federal okay whatever the products in question were shipped across the country between April 15th and May 3rd and have the product code 25JSAS1. No illnesses have been reported so far from the product, the FDA said. And that link will be in the description box. Moving on to the last item. Okay. This can be bad. Uh, smoke detector recall. 
Now, this is important. Kid, I'm, I'm saying it, kid. It's capital K-I-D-D-E. I wouldn't pronounce it any other way, but it could be kidde. It's probably not kitty. Okay, so we'll say kid. We calls 226,000 smoke alarms because they can, quote, fail to alert consumers to a fire, unquote. Now, this is serious. By Kelly Tycho from USA Today. Published May 6, 2021, updated on May 7th, okay? What in the world? This looks like some kind of ride at an amusement park. Talking about Peloton recalling treadmills after the death of a six-year-old child. Yeah. Oh, I can't say it here. It's YouTube. Never mind. And how many, and yeah, how many millions have died? Or, not millions, thousands, hundreds. It's in thousands from you know what. They're not stopping that. Okay. About 226,000 smoke detectors and combination smoke carbon monoxide alarms are being recalled because they may, quote, fail to alert consumers to a fire, unquote. The nationwide recall is for kid, true sense, smoke alarms, and combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarms that were sold at Walmart, Home Depot, Men Menards, Menyar Menards, M-E-N-A-R-D-S, Amazon, and other stores between May of 2019 and September of 2020. So I guess you could have one hanging in your house and you wouldn't know it was faulty because you haven't had a fire. So um, let's see if they got some numbers here. According to a recall notice posted Thursday on the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission website, which is a link you can click on, no incidents or injuries have been reported. No incidents. In other words, there weren't any fires and it didn't go off. How did they know? Some of these really get me. You know what I mean? Okay. No incidents or injuries have been reported, which is good. Okay, I don't mean to sound like, what? Nobody was killed? Uh, no, the notice said. The seven recall, recalled alarm models sold for between $10 and $70. So, cheap models all the way up to $70. Consumers should immediately contact KID for a free replacement alarm. Boy, that's going to cost them, the notice states. But they're doing the right thing. They must have done some past studies, I mean studies on past items. If there was no incident, no fire where the alarm didn't go off, or else that's not what they mean. Anyway, okay, that's not about this. Um, then they have a link for... Check out USA Today's curated database of consumer product recalls for the latest information. You can go there and find out what else you might need to send back or get a new one of. The recalled units are Kid Model Series 2040, 
2050, 2060, and 2070 smoke and combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Only alarms with the true sense logo or quote, and this is in all caps, AMBER equals FAULT, unquote. That's strange. That's a logo. AMBER equals FAULT. Printed on the front of the alarm are included in this recall. The model number is printed on the back of the alarm. So you should be able to climb up there with something sturdy and look for those numbers. Okay? Kid has a guide on how to identify the affected models and to complete the recall at kid okay why don't you go to the link in the description box click on it go to this article scroll down until you see what looks like a paper insert if you saw my one oh no I put that on bit shoot where the lady opens the insert in the box of uh, something I can't talk about on YouTube. The whole insert was blank. Okay, well this is apparently like an insert you might get or got that shows the alarm and where the numbers would be and all that. Kid Cadets Alarm Recall dot rs never mind all right you just click on the link in the description box and if you can't find it and you've got an alarm you think might qualify you just let me know and i'll put the link in your under your comment okay all right or maybe at the top and i'll pin it to the top okay in case someone else comes along later and i miss it Okay, that's going to end this one because <laughs> I hate to not put these out when our sister Tessa goes to the trouble of sending me all these recall notices and it could affect you and your loved ones. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.